All right, it's been quite a week. How do you feel? What are you talking about? I know, right? Another day in the life. Uh, how do you feel? Like a champion. Uh, <laughs> you invited Tyler for drinks after uh, final episode. We've seen you guys together. Where are things stand now? We had some drinks. That happened. More pictures coming out of you guys together. And there, there were any, pictures, yeah. Anything else going on? Or is there a future there, do you think? Uh, the, there's, mm, I don't know. I, I'm more concerned about my future and um, the opportunities that I have as a single woman. So your future is not with him right now? I, I think I've been very clear that, like, I, yes, there's feelings. There was feelings that, there, but I'm keeping my options open, and I'm looking more forward to the opportunities that I have and um, what's to come for me. And, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to focus on. And whatever else happens, happens. Gotcha. Uh, would he make a good bachelor next time around? That is not for me to decide. That is for uh, the people who do that year after year, and I feel like they make really good decisions. So if they decide Tyler for Bachelor, then um, I would support that. Who would you like to see? I, you I, must have a feeling you had all these guys there yeah. with you. Um, I, I don't know who I would who I would choose because I, I feel like there are a lot of good contenders, and it just depends on what type of season we want to have next because they're all different and so like I said it's not for me to decide it's it's just what type of um what type of guy we want we want to have next and a few of them head off to bachelor in paradise mm -hmm. coming out tonight yeah any predictions you know John Paul will be there Cam Dylan yeah what do you expect um I expect for there to be a lot of drama and for John Paul Jones to be a star. And I cannot wait to watch. And I'm, uh, you might see me down there. Really? Yeah. Doing what? I mean, I heard there's good drinks and it's pretty hot and spicy down there and I'm a single woman, so we'll see. Any unfinished business you'd like to uh, take care of down there? We'll have to see. Definitely gonna be sipping some margaritas. Good deal. Yeah. Uh, Jed took a lot of heat for how he handled things, and his you know exes come out praising you. Did you? What's your reaction to that? Uh, look, a lot of people were hurt by everything that happened, and I want to move on from that, and I want him to be able to move on, and for his ex to be able to move on from this, and. Um, don't want that this to be something that follows him for the rest of his life or, and neither for me. I think he made a, some bad decisions and um, he should be able to, you know, I wish him well um, moving forward. If you're doing it all over again, mm -hmm. what do you do differently? That, that's something that I think anybody in this position, regardless if their season ended with this, you know, fairy tale ending or something more like mine, <laughs> um, could, could question. But I still feel like there is a silver lining to my ending that if I changed anything, I might not have. And I love the woman that was at the end of this who so strong and confident and empowered and if I would have changed any thing that I did I might not be the woman that I am today so I can't say that I would change anything what's next for you now uh, continuing focusing on um, me and what opportunities lie ahead and um, just using this platform that I've been given and the conversations that I've started to continue to fill my cup and then fill other women's cup up as well by um, making them feel like they can feel empowered to feel worthy and to not settle through the way that I handle my life too. Because now it's in this spotlight and I think it's really important 
for me to feel, to continue to feel that way, but for others to see that they can feel that way too. Good deal, mm -hmm. congrats. Thanks. One more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell, never miss a video.